This is David with Organic Themes, and I'm going to show you how to download and install a WordPress theme from the Organic Themes website. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to show you the origin theme. So we're just going to pretend that you have already purchased the theme. Next, you'll go to Account Downloads, and within your Downloads page, you'll find the theme you want to download. Download it. Now you'll log into your WordPress website, and you'll go to Appearance themes, then you'll click the add new button. Now you'll click the upload theme button at the top here. We'll browse our downloads, find our recently downloaded theme, install it, and activate it. Now we can see the theme has been activated on our website with its default settings. You see uh, we have a few admin notifications since activating the theme. Uh, these are prompting us to install recommended plugins and activate our theme license. We'll start by activating our theme license. So you click this button. It will take us to Appearance Theme License. Now if you don't know where your theme license is, you can get it in your Organic Themes account by going to Account, Licenses, and copying your license key. Now, for these purposes, I've already copied it. I'm going to enter it here. We'll save changes. And there you can see the license has been activated. Okay, now let's begin installing the recommended plugins. Now, I already have most of the plugins installed, so I'm just going to activate them. Okay, so once all of our plugins have been activated, we need to make sure that the plugins are actually set up in order for our demo process to work correctly. We need to make sure that Jetpack has um, their custom post types activated. So we go to Jetpack Settings, Writing, and then we're going to enable Testimonials and Portfolios. Fortunately, they're already enabled here, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, also, you might need to set up uh, the basics of WooCommerce in order for the products and shop to import correctly. Um, I already have it, the basics of WooCommerce set up, so we don't have to worry about that now. And we can go ahead and continue with our import process. So we go to Appearance, Import Demo Data. Now that everything's been installed and activated, all we need to do is click this button and wait. This process can take a few minutes. Okay, now that it's done, we're going to check our site. So here was the default site from the installation. Now we're just going to refresh the page. As you can see, we have our menu up here. We have the video, background video playing, and all the components of the demo. And the pages should be installed, so you can see the different blocks in action here. All the posts should be working. So if we go to view any of these posts, they're currently set up and working as expected. And we can see that our demo import process has worked correctly. Also, you can see that the WooCommerce products have been imported as well. So if we go to our shop page, we can see that each of the products have been imported. You can click on them to see them individually. And if we go into our back end, we can see that the products have been imported successfully by looking here. All the sample products. Additionally, all the Jetpack custom post types like testimonials and portfolio items have been imported as well. So you can use those uh, throughout the website as well just for, for sample purposes. So as you can see, the demo import process has worked smoothly. Now I'm going to take you through uh, just the basic theme setup, the theme options. So in order to access theme options, we're going to go to Appearance, Customize. Okay, once we've entered the WordPress Customizer, you can see on your left here that we have theme options. These options are specific to the origin theme. Um, there are similar options within our other organic themes, but uh, they might vary depending on the theme that you're using. In this case, we have blog options. So if you were to go to our blog page here, you can see posts are displaying within the blog category. 
but we could choose a different category if we'd like. These categories were imported through our dem demo import process. So if we were to click on the travel category, for instance, travel posts would be displayed. I'll go back through some of the other theme options here. You can change fonts. Currently we have the font pairing of Montserrat and Meriwether. You can change that to something else. and your fonts will update throughout the site. You can also do this for your main menu navigation. So we can change the font to something different here. And you can see the font has been updated for our menu. So using these options, you can customize the theme um, quite a bit. Slideshow settings are for your slideshow page template that is included with the theme. So you can change the transition speed and the transition style. This will make sure that the slide changes more rapidly. And we have a few miscellaneous options for enabling drop-down menus and displaying titles on posts and pages. Several other standard theme options are included with all organic themes, and I'm just gonna run you through a few of these options. So uh, on our left here, you can see site identity is available. This is where you manage your logo. You can change your logo. You can change the size of it. You can remove it altogether. We can display the site title in its place. And you can change the font and font weight of the site title. We can adjust the alignment for our logo and our menu navigation. If we back out of here, we can see that we can change colors, we can change the header background color. Our text color on the header is automatically updated depending on whether or not you choose a dark color or a light color. You can also change other colors throughout the theme such as the footer, links, buttons, all kinds of other stuff. We can also change widgets. So if you're using the Builder Widgets plugin, for instance, you are able to directly modify your Builder Widgets here within the Customizer. And then you can see your changes in real time. They will update here in the Customizer. And there you have it. There are a whole bunch of other options you can choose from. If you want to change any options for your theme, for WooCommerce, your menu, just the, the whole setup process of your theme can be managed here within the customizer.